What have you learned from turning businesses around? Ooh. This could be an episode all in itself, but. Well, uh, there's a lot of parts to that. So I, I would say that like the, the way that my progression with that went, especially when I was younger, is I was lucky in a sense the thing that made it the hardest for me actually is what kind of gave me this unique skill set. And that was that I was doing it on commission. And if I didn't fix the business, I didn't get paid. So like we see a lot of guys out there, consultants or whatever, that get paid for their advice. But it's like a weatherman. If your advice doesn't work, you're not giving a refund, right? Right. But if you're, um, if you're, stuff doesn't work and you're on commission, you are giving a refund in the sense that I left home, I flew to Dallas, I've been there for weeks on end, I've spent months doing this turnaround and then it doesn't turn around, I am losing money. Like, you know. Um, yeah, your skin's in the game. Yeah, and so you have this, uh, this thing that happens in that scenario that you, you are very... Uh, aware of what the idealized version of things are and what is effective. And you also become very aware of the hardest thing is executing, not ideas. Like, you know, uh, when we go into a store, a lot of times people say, oh, we thought of that or we tried that or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, we're actually going to do it. <laughs> That's a right? huge difference. <laughs> like, um, and, you know, maybe you tried it and it didn't work, but, you know, it's going to work this time. In that sense. And so I remember like early, because I'm I was really young, I remember not making money a couple times and being devastated. Um, and then then I started uh, you know, batting a hundred where I wasn't, you know, the there wasn't any real uh heirs to that degree. Even if they started slow, I still was was making money. But then the, the thing that I kind of like started play, playing a game in my head is like, how can I fix something in 90 days? Like, how can I turn this around quicker? And um, what happens, right, is, is you go in and you do this assessment and you, you just listen and uh, you just let everybody kind of dump all of all of their negativity, trauma, whatever on you. Then you devise a plan. You got to trick the people into the plan. So you got to do a little bit of a sleight of hand because if you if you come in and you're like, "Hey, uh, we're going to change your pay plan and we're going to do this and whatever," people uh, tend to leave or it just creates chaos. When you're trying to create order, you. If you do it wrong, you create more chaos. So you have more turnover, more, you know, right. volatility or whatever in that sense. And so um, then so then you do a slide of hand, you get it going and you fix it. And then what happens is that the same people then end up uh, believing that it was their idea in a weird way. <laughs> That's and, right. and there's very little, like the results will be incredible, right? Like you take something from losing money to making a ton of money in a really short period of time, which oftentimes like we deal with this. We don't tell people our results because they don't believe it. They think it's impossible, right? So you can't tell people like, hey, these are, these are the numbers because in their head, they're like, they're, that isn't possible. And I think to some degree, they think like, um, if that is possible, I'm so lost that uh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to open that. They can. have no choice but to not believe that it's possible. Yeah, it's yeah, just I get way it. easier because whatever that is, if if I can't imagine it, then I must be so off. I don't even want to touch it. Right? It's just it's too big of a of a suspension of belief for them. So then, what happens though is when it does happen and the results are huge, they if you do it right. They believe it was their idea. Yep. You're trying in the process to make the manager look good and, you know, gain confidence. And 
There's a lot of things that we're doing there to build self-esteem, team building, all, you know, there's a lot of things going on that people don't perceive, but create that outcome and that recipe. But if you just came out and told them they would want to fight it or they, you know, they wouldn't understand it. It would confuse them. And so at the, at the end of the day, the thing I think that I learned from all that is that it is psychology more than anything. So, you know, when, I, when I'll interview people for potential coaches, like I'll ask them, like, what's the recipe to turn something around? Because we'll get managers that, you know, the ideal candidate for us is somebody that goes somewhere for five years, fixes it, gets bored, goes and fixes another one. That's right. Or some of these public companies have guys that go in and fix and I will ask them, uh, so if you're baking a cake and you're fixing something, what is, what is the most important ingredient in there? And uh, most of the time people say it's the people, but it's not the people. It's the systems and the psychology. And most of what we do is psychology. It's not, uh, it's not the people, you know. The people are going to have the psychology imposed on them, but it's not the people. If we do it right, they don't really have a choice. They're just coming along in their own self-interest because we made it, we made it worth their while yeah. in a way, you know? Um, so I would say that it's psychology. The other thing I think that I that I have learned is that if if something, if a business is losing a lot of money, most of the people there are not going to make it. If a business is breaking even, a Some. very small amount of people, if a business is making money, that's where you can have the biggest impact because they have systems, they have people, and we can come in and just fine tune that to the degree where it scales really fast. Mm -hmm. But to go from losing to breaking even is like giving childbirth. I've never given childbirth, but the analogy of it's very painful, you're giving a piece of your soul basically away to do it. And so, um, you know, whenever we're looking at stores like that, like we always, we always uh, assume that it's worse than it is in that scenario because we don't want to get caught flat-footed. And if it's losing money, there's a good chance that there's bodies buried somewhere. There's people stealing. The culture is bad. All of that. And I, no, I would say no that's one gets the there by accident. Is people misunderstand culture. They think culture is uh, making everybody happy. Thanks so much for watching this clip of Service Driver Revolution. We're uploading new stuff every day, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out. If you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, call 8333-ASK-SDR and we'll answer your question on the show. That's 8333-ASK-SDR. For special deals on our books and training, head over to offers.chriscollinsinc.com. Now that's offers.chriscollinsinc.com. I'm Chris Collins and I'll see you in the next video.